It's time to jump into one of our favorite genres. Here are the best platformers to play in 2022. Welcome to the show! The wonderful thing about the platforming genre is just how varied it is in 2022. You can run and jump through all nine Star Wars movies, play electric guitar as you soar sideways through strange colorful worlds, and even find true nightmare fuel if you're in the mood for some grim despair. Both AAA and indie developers are now happily crafting platformers that do far more than just make you hit jump every so often. Subscribe to Logitech G before we get started, and let's run through some of the best ones to play on PC this year. Is there such a thing as too much LEGO Star Wars? The Skywalker Saga certainly doesn't think so. This brand new bricky extravaganza includes LEGO adaptations of all nine of the Star Wars movies. And there's no reusing any of the old levels from the original games either. This is a huge, brand new celebration of all things Lucasfilm flavoured. While there are lots of things to destroy and collect, and we do mean lots, the team at TT Games have added all kinds of new mechanics to make the Skywalker Saga feel at home in 2022. You now have a combo meter for lightsaber combat, which is more swingy, slashy and deadly than ever before and you even unlock skills with your collectibles. This means whether you're hanging out with Jar Jar or battling Kylo Ren, there's always plenty on your stud fill to-do list. <laughs> the concept of platforming games would be nothing without this simple jump button, but the artful escape floats a new idea, holding down a key to shred an electric guitar like an intergalactic rock god at the same time. Truthfully, we can't think of a single game this wouldn't improve, but at the same time, maybe it should stay where it belongs in this ultra-colourful adventure. The Artful Escape follows young Francis Vendetti, who is struggling living under the shadow of his famous folk legend of an uncle. While the world expects him to sing sad songs on stage, Francis just wants to play his electric guitar under the moonlight. His adventure to discover his own destiny via the Cosmic Extraordinary is a surprisingly heartfelt one, as well as joyfully hallucinogenic. This platforming journey is short but sweet, with a soundtrack to raise the roof. Beyond that door lies the Cosmic Extraordinary. Hey look, another excuse to talk about It Takes Two. If you've watched any of our videos over the last year, you might have seen this gorgeous co-op adventure mentioned once or twice, okay, ten times. But it's for a multitude of very good reasons. Cody and May's 3D platforming journey has been fully designed for split-screen co-op play. Whether that means sitting with a friend or partner IRL, or connecting online with the game's generous free second player option, everything you do is all about teamwork. As Cody and May try to, well, get themselves turned back into humans from tiny dolls, they explore a variety of beautiful zones with abilities that work in perfect harmony. That can mean being literal hammer and nails, and even magnets with different attractions, to explore a world that just keeps getting more imaginative. This is co-op platforming perfection. Oh, now what? Let's follow up one perfect platformer with another, shall we? And the best news is that Psychonauts 2 is single player, so you don't even need to depend on another human to journey inside minds with young Rasputin and his frankly brilliant goggles. This is definitely another highlight from 2021 that's constantly mixing things up with the powers of telekinesis and even a handy pyromania ability. Those who are afraid of dentists might be somewhat squeamish about the start of the game, but push past the molars, yes, sometimes quite literally literally, and this opens up into a magnificent and downright hilarious adventure, with all kinds of brilliant characters that make you feel like you're exploring a darkly twisted Pixar movie. It feels frankly ludicrous that this game is available for free on Xbox Game Pass. So what are you waiting for? If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. If you thought that the best of Crash Bandicoot was in the past, or at least in the recent remasters, you'd be very wrong. With 23 years since Crash 3 warped, to use the words long-awaited for Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time feels a little like an understatement. 
everything you expect from the adventures of the orange marsupial are here. Thrilling, platforming adventures packed with running, jumping and spinning, characters we know and love, there's even an included option to play as Coco if you want to leave Crash behind for a bit, and even fresh new abilities that don't feel alien in Crash's world, but still make it truly feel like a sequel. If you want to plug into nostalgia that gets it just right, you'll want to spin this way. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. If you've ever asked yourself, what if a platformer but horror, Little Nightmares 2 is the answer to your very twisted question. It turns out that running from left to right can be very scary indeed, and this second slice of Tarsia Studios' grim world is even more atmospheric and intense than the original. This time we play as a young boy called Mono. Yep, he's the one with the bag on his head. And while you can see two characters on screen, this isn't a nice experience where you can play with a friend to make it less scary. Believe us when we say that this is no It Takes Two. Instead, this means that Tarsia can ramp up the tension when you have to work together. This is a game that lives up to its title, packed with truly horrifying surreal imagery that will absolutely sneak into your nightmares. Oh, and watch out for bear traps. No, really. And finally, let's end with some reactive platforming on four wheels. It's time to take a trip to the totally gnarly island of Radlandia. We think we said that in Skater Speak. Well, the good news is that your knowledge of the lingo takes a back seat here, as you hurtle sideways across colourful skate courses and chat to friendly faces. Once you've personalised your skater, you're faced with an entire island worth of levels packed with stairs and drops just waiting to trip you up. Even finishing some of the levels feels like a serious achievement, as you trick your way over gaps and link up grind combos. But there are also sets of challenges to make sure there's always something to come back to. Whether that's doing heel flips over beach huts or trying to catch inflatable fish, you're going to spend hours here. And if you don't mind, we're going back in. So those are some of the best platforming games you can play right now. Let us know your jumpy favourites in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one. If you already subscribe, thank you! Make sure to click the notification bell so you know exactly when our next list lands on the channel.